It was minutes before 10 o'clock when word went out of an emergency landing at the Huonora International Airport. Thick black smoke billowed from the crash sites, indicating that it was a serious accident with many casualties. First responders and other emergency crews quickly got into action, trying to get the blaze under control and to rescue passengers. Some sustained serious injuries. There were also fatalities. But this wasn't the real thing. Kennedy Francis, the chairman of SLASPA's Disaster Management Committee, says it was a simulation exercise designed to test the state of readiness of first responders based at the airport. And we did a full-scale emergency landing of an aircraft today. And we're very satisfied because a number of the agencies, or I would like to say all of the agencies, responded and we were able to test their response, their coordination and their communication. So some of the elements that were, were assessed basically was victim handling, casualty management, uh, search and rescue. Those components were, all belong to different agencies. However, to respond to a, 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 an incident, there must be coordination and cooperation for those agencies to work together. The ultimate objective of the simulation exercise was to earn the confidence of the traveling public and aviation industry that local agencies have the capability to handle emergencies effectively. So in, in a situation where you have aircrafts with over 300 passengers coming into your airport, it's important that you give the public the sense of safety and security that you can come together in a situation, if there were, God forbid, a, a, an emergency situation, that we would be able to respond, we would be able to work together as a team and to deal with the emergency. Observers of the simulation exercise were pleased with the response time of the emergency agencies, but the evaluator of the incident command post, Lucius Lake, said there was an issue of communication among the agencies involved. In my view, one of the biggest issues we had today was communication, with the various agencies communicating together. Because of the different radios and um, frequencies you operate on, there was a bit of difficulty where we were communicating. The St. Lucia Air and Seaports Authority is now reviewing the exercise. Alison Kentish, HDS News Force.